Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at red flags. This is really off the back of a recent video I did, sort of, in my humble opinion, uh, highlighting some, some of the darker side of activities that happen in the crypto space. Um, and obviously, you know, I, I try to do everything um, in a very transparent and... Um, I, I guess impartial uh, way and um you know people doubt that um and and that's fine you know if we all thought the same way and all had the same opinions wouldn't that just be boring right so you know i'm happy to to have you know I, I guess um constructive conversations with people um but ultimately some people you know um you know they're just not willing to to listen but with all that said there are you know quite a lot of people that would be really interested to know some of the things to to look out for 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 projects that you perhaps don't really want to be investing in right now lots of influencers shill um they call them shit coins but you know they they shill projects that perhaps um you know actually have good intent but they just fail um and this will give you some of the ideas of what to look for um, because you should continue doing that due diligence, right? You don't just invest and go away for five years. You need to keep looking. Things change. It's a bit like a relationship or a marriage. You know, you, you, you're in love to start off with. It's an amazing project. Um, you know, very much like, you know, your, your first wedding day, for example, you've just bundled in a whole load of cash. But actually, over time, people grow, people change. Uh, the project, you know, some of the team may leave. Some of the team, you know, you might get new team members in. Um you know, all sorts of different things can happen. And that's why it's really important, you know, that you, you, you keep your due diligence up and you keep, you know, an eye on these projects that you're invested in. Um, so, you know, I think this is a really important video, particularly uh, now when we're, we're, you know, right down, we've pulled back significantly. And if this is a prolonged bear cycle or bear market or whatever terminology you wish to use, then there will be, you know, a high percentage. I mean, people talk about 99% of projects disappearing now with a prolonged bear market you want to make sure that your due diligence is high right you're, you're keeping an eye on these projects um because they can just disappear with your money so um it's a, a very volatile market and um you know we we only should invest what we're willing to lose right and um you know you can see this with luna even the blue chip projects can can disappear like that you know i would have counted Luna is a blue chip, you know, project when you look from the outside in, um, not knowing what's really going on um, around like the the algorithmic stablecoin aspect of things, right? So, you know, just a, you know, a video to sort of cover this stuff off. I think it's really important. And uh, if you enjoy this sort of content, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And maybe go through the projects that you're invested in after this video, right? And just check, you know, are, are there any concerns around these 10 things that I'm going to highlight? Now, I am going to do a write-up for Patreon members, which is going to cover even more in-depth analysis of stuff that you should be looking for, um, you know, to, to cover off on your due diligence on some of these projects. You know, every day is a school day, right? And, um, you know, even I'm learning, um, you know, being in crypto for, for a huge length of time now. And I'm still learning every day, right? Um, you know, and you've got to be a sponge. You've got to take in people's opinions, even if you don't agree with them. Have a constructive conversation and embrace each other. So let's get down to the desktop. Let's have a look at what I want to cover off today. So, you know, normally I go to, to coin market cap, but we're, we're definitely not doing that for this one, right? We're going to try to keep it as short as possible. Um, so anonymous leadership, right? Or for me, you know, you could encompass the team, right? If the team is anonymous, the leadership is anonymous, then this is just something that I don't tend to to like to invest in. I like to understand who it is that, you know, I'm, I'm investing in as an individual, right? Um, because ultimately the team is one of those really important pillars of whether a project is going to do really well. And I think Luna is a, a prime example of that, right? They haven't handled the situation well at all. And ultimately it looks like it's going to die um you know unless it's bailed out somehow so you know, make sure that you're researching the team you know having an anonymous team means that you're unable to see whether they've you know, participated in um you know anything dodgy in the past any scams 
you know any anything that would be alarming um you know so you know anonymous teams and i know that a lot of nft projects uh, have anonymous teams i know that uh, a lot of DeFi projects and um decentralized exchanges have you know teams that aren't docs so you know to be quite frank you miss out on on a few op opportunities um with some of these but ultimately you know i i would imagine that the the risk of losing all your money reduces significantly uh, for those types of investments um lack of team again another one right the size of the team and the team itself is really important as i mentioned a moment ago but the lack of team and and, and this can mean several things right it could be a lack of communication uh from the team you know not understanding who to to speak to you know if you're a mod in um a, a project or an admin and you're being asked a question not having um a, a dev on hand to to answer questions you know would be a little bit concerning right particularly if it's a big project um so yeah lack of team lack of um i i guess advisors would be another one as well um you know these these are things that are really important it can just be that there is a big team or a team but you know they're just not contactable they're not engaging with with the community uh, and these are things that you know that they are concerning right and we should be aware and acknowledge that these things are you know really important number three poorly written websites and other materials so typos poor grammar are a sign um of trouble um you know at least according to security experts these errors often um they're often deliberate um there's a few reasons for this spelling mistakes are more likely to pass through spam filters errors can make text seem more believable and um, build rapport uh, those ignoring uh, the errors are most likely to fall for a scam um so you know really really important that you understand that there could be something sinister behind that so again one to just be aware of one to, to obviously highlight no white paper again like i would even go as far to say as just having a light paper um you know i like to have a real solid white paper with everything broken down rather than just maybe a slide deck of perhaps four pages um you know these things are, are really important right it sets out the plan and how they're going to do it and um you know who's involved now um you know they might not necessarily be accurate um but i think it's really important so yeah um <clears throat> do let me know you know if, if there are any um concerns that you have with any projects that you know um sort of align to any of these issues really interested to get your views and opinions so over promotion paid uh celebrity endorsements again really really um like important that you you're aware of these some of the celebrities get paid an absolute uh fortune to to basically shield these projects right we've seen this with many celebrities and i won't mention names you know who i'm talking about and um you know you got to question whether uh that money should be going to those celebrities or whether it should actually be invested in the technology that underlines the actual project itself um you know don't get me wrong there needs to be a marketing budget but it needs to be a realistic one if if they're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars plus on celebrity endorsements it's a big red flag uh, particularly at the start of a project uh, six bots if a project uh, needs to use bots to make tweets or video comments uh, or content uh, look like you know it, it has a bigger following than it actually does at the time it is misleading uh, you should question what else uh, they're doing on that project that is misleading investors uh, for me this is a big one um you know there will be people that argue that you know bots are all over twitter and it's you know it's you just gotta accept it and just do it for me that doesn't stand up two wrongs don't make a right and ultimately you know if i see this stuff happening i'm out right and um, especially if the team's doing it and uh you know saying that you're not you know you're not associated or they're just a follower to me that's not acceptable just need to to be you know quite frank with you um you know it's a it's a drop it and run kind of scenario for me um no public code 
Um, again, really, really important. It's a big issue, uh, this one. Uh, it would raise concerns about how good the code actually is and might um, you know, be hiding some risks to your money. Um, so, you know, with this one, I would say make sure that, you know, you've checked the audits if there are any audits. Uh, again, I think it's a risk if there isn't an audit, but, you know, you can find some fantastic opportunities to get into early projects as like private sales and stuff like that and public sales where perhaps the audit hasn't been completed yet. That's understandable, but if the project's been around for years, then, you know, there's probably some concerns there, right? Uh, low activity um, or no activity, right? You know, this is always a concern and could be a sign that the project is failing to achieve on its promises. You know, if there's low activity on, you know, uh, a project um, or no activity or, you know, you're, the, the community is asking questions, but they're not getting answers, um, you know, dates, uh, all that sort of stuff when stuff's actually going to start moving forward alarm bells are ringing for me. Um, so, you know, just again, another one to to be, you know, concerned about if you see this with any projects. Um, you normally see uh, an uptick in the amount of building in um, like bear phases and bear markets. Um, it's where they really sort of get to, to work and start building. Uh, and you see this with many projects, um, but there are some projects that you don't see this with, and that would be concerning. Uh, moving on to number nine, no timeline. Roadmaps are very important. It helps us as investors keep tabs on how well the project is doing. Without dates on a roadmap, you can't hold the team to account for being late on delivery. And really you have no idea whether they're on track um, for, for the whole year, potentially, if they haven't sort of got dates, haven't got it quarterly and all that sort of stuff so important to have a roadmap it's so important to have dates on the roadmap it's so important so you can keep that team accountable uh, and if there is no roadmap or there is no timelines on a roadmap these should be a sign of alarm bells they should be ringing in your ears they should be um you know right up there when it comes to questioning the teams about it so for me definitely need to to make sure there's timelines on any roadmap number 10 misleading features slash data if a project team is sharing incorrect data or using bots um then this is very misleading right it's very misleading because ultimately the data is incorrect it can make investors invest in projects thinking there's far more adoption than there actually is um you know i think that you know if a team is sharing data that data should be validated and checked first and um, if it is checked after the, the the date of it being shared to find that it's wrong it should be removed the, uh, the retweets or the the tweets should be removed um, it's very misleading and you know bots can be generate uh, they can generate sorry get my words out bots can be used to generate extra wallets as well to look like a project has more people investing or staking than there is in reality and so on there's so much that these bots can do these days um you know it's really frightening to to think that you could be being misled in many different ways uh by many different projects so you know i wanted to bring these um to, to people's attention particularly with the stuff that i've been covering over the last few days ultimately there's a lot of hate towards me there's probably lots of bots you know in our twitter feeds and stuff like that i just think that you know at the moment we should be very conscious of um you know red flags i think we should be looking at all of the projects within our portfolios and we should be doing our own due diligence our own research and making sure that everything is healthy and if it isn't you know you need to ask questions of the the, the teams involved at the end of the day you've invested in the team and the and and the project the tech all of that right you have a right to ask demand it um, and with all that said i hope you enjoyed today's video um, i'm really passionate about making sure that our community is kept safe um, and i will always talk about the good and the bad uh, and ultimately you know people are going to love me or they're going to hate me a bit like marmite and to be honest i'm okay with that if you enjoyed today's video mash up that like button if you didn't enjoy today's video mash it the downward direction Again, I think it's really important that, you know, we do either or. And if you haven't already, subscribe, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.